In China, more and more couples over the age of 70 to 80 begin to re-celebrate their union by renewing their vows and having the party that they'd wish they'd had the first time round. Meet Juga Junhong and Yu Manpo, one of a hundred couples who got remarried last October at an event hosted by the retirement home they belong to. They marked their diamond anniversary in style, where they literally had the red carpet rolled out for them. Definitely a far cry from their first wedding day in 1953, which was organized by the Russians who were living in their small town in Guangdo as foreign aides. It was a difficult time. There were a lot of Russian experts back then. By Russian tradition, each one of them brought us a bottle of wine to congratulate us. We didn't have any fancy dresses, so we just found some clean casual wear. It was just a small gathering of friends and colleagues, and our leader gave a speech which officiated the marriage. The Russians asked us to kiss, but we were really conservative, not like today's people. It was embarrassing. But everyone was asking, so we kissed anyway as a polite gesture. Juga and Yu lived during a time where there were no phones or photographers, so no official photos or videos were taken of them on their big day. After the wedding, we were separated. He was in Hainan Island and I was in Zhanjiang. We could only meet once every two weeks. The wait was so hard. I had to cross the Tiongzhou Strait every time if we were to meet. The waves in the sea were really big, and our boat was so small. The boats used to capsize in the strait all the time back then. So every time we would say goodbye, it was as if it might be our last. We really cherished our time together. After hearing Duga and Yu's story, I can see how different the views are of love and marriage uh, back then from when they were a young couple in the 1950s to today. Uh, they lived in a very different time back then, and they decided to get married the first time round because of the same goals that they shared and the same interests. Uh, they wanted to help build uh, a newborn country, whereas today they decided to get remarried because of their love for each other, like most couples do. We've been working all our lives and never had a real formal wedding. Now we have pictures to commemorate our love, and we can show them to our kids and grandkids and tell them, even though we are old, we are still pretty. Whether the wedding was big or small, either way, they have a successful marriage. And when I asked what the secret to that was, they replied, by working and solving problems together. Jenny Cortez Ibanez, CGTN, Beijing.